Let us take an example to understand what exactly happens here. If you look at this, there's an input given that is go now 52, 38, 17, for again 65. So this input here is a combination of words and numbers. Strictly speaking, there are four words and four numbers in this input step. Now this machine arranges them in a step by step procedure and obtains the output as shown in step 6. That is 65 again 52 for 38 go 17 and now. And this is the output for the given input. To solve questions based on this rearrangement, the first thing which we need to understand is the logic behind this rearrangement. And to do that, the first step is look at the last step without bothering about the intermediate steps. Now from the last step, we can make out that the words and numbers have been arranged in alternate positions. The order of the numbers here is 65, 52, 38 and 70. So we can understand that the numbers here have been arranged in decreasing order. And if you look at the words, that is again, for, go, now, these words are in alphabetical order. So we can now say that the machine rearranges the given input in such a way that the numbers and words come in alternate positions starting with the number first. All the numbers appear in decreasing order and the words appear in alphabetical order. Now once we have understood the logic behind the last step, let us now look at the step by step procedure to understand the movement of these elements that is the words and the numbers. So from the given input, if you look at the step 1, we know that the first position should be occupied by the highest number and that highest number in the given input here is 65. So 65 is brought from the last position to the first position in step 1 and the remaining elements are simply pushed aside. That means in each step only one element is moved. Now when we look at step 2, we know that after 65 a word has to take the second position and that word should be the first one in alphabetical order. So among the given words go, now, for and again the word which comes first in alphabetical order is again. So in step 2 the word again which is in this position is brought to second position in step 2 and the remaining elements are simply pushed aside that is go now 52 38 17 4 again has already gone to the second place likewise if we move to step 3 we know that after again we need a number and that number here should be 52 as we are following the decreasing order so 52 is brought from this position to the third position in step 3 and the remaining elements are simply pushed aside. That is go now 52 has come to third place and then 38, 17 and 4. Moving on to step 4 we know that after 52 we need a word and that word here should be for as we are following the alphabetical order. Because from go, now and for, the word which comes in alphabetical order first is for. So for is brought from the last place in step 3 to fourth place in step 4. And the remaining elements that is go, now, 38 and 17 are simply pushed aside. Now let us look at step 5. Already the first four elements are in proper places till step 4. After 4 we need a number and that number here should be 38 as it is the higher number. So 38 is brought from the last but one position in step 4 to fifth position in step 5. And the remaining elements that is go, now and 17 have been pushed aside. So that completes step 5. After 38 we need a word and that word here should be go as it comes first in the alphabetical order among go and now. Now moving on to step 6, we know that the first 5 elements are already in their correct positions. After 38, we need a word and that word here should be among go and now. As we are following the alphabetical order, the word which should come after 38 should be go. And if you observe in step 5, go comes immediately after 38. That means it is already in the correct position. 
So when a particular element that is a word or number is already in its correct place, we need not disturb that and simply move on to the next element. So as in step 5, the word go has already appeared in the correct position, let us move on to the next element. After go, we need a number and that number has to be 17 as it is the only number left out. So in step 6, 17 is brought from the last position to the last but one position. After bringing 17 to its correct position, the word now has occupied the last place, which is the correct place for this word. So we need not do any further rearrangement in this step. And this completes the output. So from this example, we have now understood that to crack the logic behind rearrangement, you first need to observe the last step and decide the pattern among the numbers and the words. Once that is done, we can look at the step-by-step -step procedure and understand the movement of words and numbers. Remember, in each step, only one element is moved. And if something is already in its correct place, we simply move on to the next element.